David here with Fig Boot on Pens, back again with another fountain pen review. Today I have for you a pen from the Heinz Pen Company. Um, I've reviewed at least one of their pens over the years, and today I have another. Uh, it is the B24 model made from Starry Night Resin. Uh, what I'm going to do today is go over the parts and features of this pen, talk about what I care for and what I don't care for about it. I'll show some measurements, size comparisons, and provide a writing sample. The gentleman behind the Heinz Pen Company is Jim Hines. Uh, he is based out of Plano, Texas, which is just north of Dallas, and his, he's been making pens for around 20 years. For a long time, he made kit pens, but about seven or eight years ago, he transitioned into full bespoke pens, and it's one of those pens we will be taking a look at today. I run into Jim at a number of pen shows, and while I was at the Atlanta show earlier this year, he had a set of pens which really caught my eye. Um, I purchased one for my own collection, and Jim was kind enough to provide a second to give away to one of you. So stay tuned to the end of this review to learn how you could potentially win. Um, the pen arrives in this cardboard box. The lid slowly slides off. And inside we have a pen. This is the Heinz B24 made from a Starry Night resin. Um, Starry Night resins are created by Jim's partner, Elise. Uh, she has become a very talented resin crafter, and you can see her creations being used by a number of pen artisans, as well as Jim. Um, I'll put a link in the notes below to her website if you would care to check out some of her material work. Now, this material here was called granite, but to me it looks more like marble with the, the veins. The pearlescent white has a fair amount of subtle sparkle with wisps of darker black. Um, the cap contains a larger amount of black material, and I like that. Um, I like the contrast between the darker cap and the more white-dominated barrel. Um, and then I like these little veins of black as well. It really adds a lot of life to this material. Uh, you could really get a good look at the sparkle of this material right here. Um, I like how on this pen here, the black vein on the cap really kind of begins to travel down and make its way down to the barrel. Uh, it makes for an interesting visual transition. Okay, let's take a look at the top of the cap. It is adorned with the Heinz pen logo. Then we have the clip. Uh, it's a decent length and has an appropriate amount of tension to accommodate materials of varying thicknesses. Uh, the cap is essentially straight, uh, with a slight angle up on the finial and then a slight angle down at the very end. There is a medium-sized transition from the cap to the barrel, which then angles up just a hair before extending straight and then tapering toward the end and the very end has a rounded edge and is flat. The cap twists off with two full rotations, and underneath we have one of the highlights of the pen, which is a number six stainless steel Yovo nib. Uh, it's black and engraved with the Heinz pen logo. I think it was a really wise decision to go with the black nib here on this pen. Um, I feel it really matches the overall black and white look of this theme. Having a silver colored or a two-tone nib would have looked awkward, in my opinion. Uh, this nib is available in extra fine, fine, medium, broad, as well as 1.1 and 1.5 millimeter stubs. And here's a look at the plastic feed. The section begins with a rounded blocky flare. It's slightly concave and then transitions into the resin threads and a small step up to the remainder of the barrel. Um, that blocky flare does a good job of preventing my grip from slipping off the end of this section, uh, but the section isn't slippery overall. Um, and the, the overall, the pen is fairly light and feels very nice in the hand. It's well balanced and plenty long enough to use unposted, which is a good thing since this pen is not designed to post. You know, I do like that it's fairly clear that it is not designed to post, Having tested other pens uh, where, uh, you know, the cap just kind of fits on the end of the barrel and you're left to wonder whether you should or shouldn't be doing that. There's no question with this pen, which is considerate. 
Um, this is a cartridge converter pen. It accepts standard international cartridges, both long and short, and a converter is provided. Uh, with the lack of metal parts this and the one-piece barrel construction, if you take the appropriate precautions, eye-dropping this pen should work just fine. Uh, this pen, as well as many and additional varieties, can be found on the Heinz Pen website. I'll put a link to it in the notes below. The price for the pens range from about $200 to $250, depending on the material and a few other factors. And I feel that's an appropriate price point for a bespoke pen of this quality. Um, some thought went into the design, and I really care for the marbling veins in this resin. If you are attending a show and Jim happens to be there, checking out his table would be well worth the time. Okay, now in regard to the giveaway. Here, I mentioned I have a second pen. Uh, I mentioned that I purchased these pens, or this pen myself, and then Jim provided this other one to give away to one of you. Um, for the last giveaway, I had you write letters in order to enter. Um, one of the letters I received actually had a suggestion uh, that uh, rather than writing letters to me, you would write letters to a friend or a family member. You know, I thought that would be a really cool thing, but I'm not sure exactly how to really verify that, uh, how that's been done. But I still think it was a great idea. Um, for us in the pen and stationary world, handwritten letters are, you know, a bit more normal. But for someone who's not used to that, to go to the mailbox and one day receive a nice handwritten letter, I mean, that would probably make their day. So while I encourage you to do that, unfortunately, I don't think that that would work in regard to a giveaway on this channel. So I'll just stick with the Google form, which has worked out well for me. Uh, there is a link to the forum in the notes below this video. In order to enter, you must be a subscriber to this channel and just enter on the form with your name and email address. Uh, in regard to an additional question, um, why don't you let me know uh, on the Heinz Pen website uh, which of his pens really stand out to you. There are a lot to choose from that are currently in stock. 72 hours after posting this video, I will select a winner at random to receive this very pen, this one right here, uh, or maybe it's the other one. I haven't quite decided which one I'm going to keep. Uh, thanks again, go out to Jim Hines for providing the additional pen for giveaway, and I strongly encourage you to check out his site or his table at a show. Uh, now it is time for some measurements, size comparisons, and a writing sample. Here we go with some size comparisons for the Heinz Pen Company B24 out of the Starry Night Resin. And I believe this material was called granite. Um, but like I mentioned, I think it's more marble. That's just my personal opinion. Um, and here is the second pen. So maybe you can kind of take a look at both. And uh, one of these I will keep since I purchased it and the other will be given away. Um, but in regard to some size comparisons, uh, this is what it looks like with a Montegrappa Elmo. And here it is with a Mont Blanc 146. And here it is with a Narwhal Nautilus. And in regard to a couple of other pens, here it is with a Diplomat Arrow. And here it is with a Lamy Safari in the petrol. And then finally, here it is with a Sailor Pro Gear. In regard to some uncapped comparisons, here it is with the Safari and the Diplomat Arrow. And finally, here it is with that Mont Blanc 146. So here we go with the writing sample for the Heinz Pen Company. And this is a B24. We'll just call it Starry Night. And this is a medium stainless steel nib. And the ink I'm using is one of my favorite reds, which is Diamine Poppy Red.
This is what the ink looks like. It's a, a nice kind of bright, vibrant red with some pop to it. Uh, this is what it looks like with Three Oysters Chili Red. And then one of the very first red inks I ever purchased was uh, from a company by the name of Thornton's. Uh, you really don't see them around that much, but uh, Thornton's Red was one of the first that I purchased, and that's a nice solid red as well. And here we go with the rest of the writing sample. Um, I do find this nib to be very pleasant. Um, it does have a little bit of feedback to it, uh, but I call it like good feedback. It's decently smooth. Uh, it's not super smooth. You're not going to get a lot of line variation out of this stainless steel nib anyways. Uh, in regard to ink flow, I think that's fair for a medium nib. In regard to reverse writing, It's slightly scratchy, but it gets the job done. And then in regard to some fast writing. The feed keeps up just fine. So there we have the Heinz Pen Company B24 Starry Night. Um, I, that uh, Jim has been doing some great work over the years. Uh, and so I'd strongly encourage you, uh, one, to enter this contest to win one of these pens, but also check out his site uh, to see some of his other offerings. Uh, until next time, thanks for watching, and I'll talk to you later.